Kenya's conspiracy theorists are firmly convinced that CDF Francis Ogola's death was no accident. Since the tragic news broke, many Kenyans have taken to social media to speculate about why they believe Ogola might have been intentionally eliminated. Among those questioning the official story of the helicopter crash is Embakasi East MP Babo Wino, who voiced his doubts on Twitter. He raised several questions suggesting that there might have been foul play involved. Number 1. Where was the Westcom commander? Number 2. Where was the Defense Forces Sergeant Major? Number 3. Where was the Army commander? Number 4. Why was the CDF using a single helicopter without a 50 ACB helicopter escort in an operational area? Number 5. Why was he accompanied only by junior officers? Number 6. What rank is typically responsible for flying the CDF's helicopter? Number 7. Who typically hosts a parade for the CDF when he is about to inspect troops? Number 8. How many helicopters should the CDF use when visiting an operational area? Number 9. Why was he the only person inspecting a school rather than delegating to his juniors? Number 10. According to the Tonje rules, who should succeed the CDF and who will be the deputy? Will this deputy become CDF by 2027? Number 11. Why did General Ogola die shortly after recent changes in the KDF leadership? Those are the questions that Babo Wino is asking on his social media pages, reflecting his skepticism and the broader concerns among some Kenyans regarding the circumstances of Ogola's death. A Francis Ogola wasn't your typical military figure. He held a position second only to the president as the head honcho of the entire military in the country. His name was also tangled up in controversy during the 2022 general elections, when the chairman of the IEBC Wafula Chebukati accused him of pressuring him to declare Raila Odinga the winner of the general elections instead of President William Ruto. Now, there is a circulating video online showing Ogola dressed sharply in suits surrounded by unknown men at the Bombers of Kenya, where election results were being scrutinized. It is rumored that he was there to sway the election's outcome in favor of Raila Odinga, but his efforts fell flat as Chabukati didn't comply. As you can see, that is CDF Ogola walking with these men that we cannot tell who they are. And uh, this is around Bomas of Kenya um, in the year 2022. Ogola was in the company of this man. He is the second person you are seeing in this video, Pale Mevalia Suti Nyeusi Pale. And you can see them walking. Uh, and then Wanasimama Apo Kidogo. And then Onona Nikama, they are trying to have a conversation. It is him. It's at this point that it was being said that Ogola was trying to overturn President Ruto's victory. They look quite restless. They are like trying to make calls and all that just to try and overturn President Ruto's victory during the 2022 general elections. Finally, you see them moving from these vehicles. Now, I don't know where they were heading to right here, but you can see them leaving the scene. And uh, it's at this point uh, they were unable to overturn President Ruto's victory, according to what uh, uh, it is being said out there. Months later, after President Ruto assumed office, he surprisingly appointed Ogola as the chief of the Defense Forces of the Kenya Defense Forces. Ruto acknowledged Ogola's attempt to challenge his victory during the appointment announcement perhaps to dispel any rumors of ill will between them. Appointed, I appointed uh, uh, General Logola. General Logola is among the people who went to Bomas to try to overturn my victory. Do you know that? But because when I looked at his CV, he was the best person to be general. I called him and I sat him down. I told him, my friend, 
you went to Bomas to try and overturn my victory. But because you are the best person to be general, I'm going to give you the job. That is how it works with me. That's why I told you, if a person has the qualification, if he is the best for the job, I will give him the job. But that is the military. There is a code of conduct for the military and how polit politics works in Kenya, Mr. President. Let me tell you, my friend, I had the opportunity. I could have appointed anybody. I had, I think, 10 choices. I didn't have to. You know, there are people who say, oh, you know, William Ruta appointed uh, Ogola because he was the deputy C uh, CDF. That's not the case. I made the decision consciously. And I made the decision against the advice of many people. Many people told me, you should not give this, you should not reward this kind of uh, behavior. Okay. But, you know, I also must be sensitive. What exercised my mind? This gentleman has a good track record. And in fact, when I spoke to him, and uh, it's not something that I should be talking about, but because you have asked a, 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 a good question. What exercised my mind is this gentleman, yes, he may have made a mistake. Maybe because the commander in chief that time told him what to do. Maybe he, and when I talked to him, he told me, I have no defense. He told me, I have no defense. You do with me whatever you want. I cannot defend, it was wrong. What I did was wrong, yeah? I am also conscious. Uh... Francis Ogola tragically lost his life on Thursday, April 18th, 2024, in a helicopter crash in West Pokot. He was aboard a Kenya Air Force Hue helicopter heading from Nairobi to visit troops in the North Rift as part of Operation Maliza Ohalifu and to oversee school renovation projects. Sadly, at 2.20 p.m., the helicopter crashed, instantly claiming General Ogola's life along with nine other brave military personnel. Two individuals survived the crash. The helicopter was supposed to continue its journey from Jesegon to the recruit training school in Wasangishu County, where General Ogola had plans to inspect construction sites. He was supposed to go from Eldoret to Kisumu, where his wife was awaiting for him. They had plans to visit Kisumu Governor Professor Nyang Nyong on Friday. After that, General Gola and his family were going to drive to their rural home to get ready for a church event honoring his parents. He was also supposed to unveil his newly built home, with officials from the Anglican Church attending according to officials. Everything was set for the event, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. After his passing, his family announced that he would be buried on Sunday, the 21st, this is in the next two days, at his rural home, fulfilling his wish to be laid to rest within 72 hours. Speculations suggest that the current vice chief of the defense forces, Charles Kahiriri, will act as the acting CDF until further notice. May Francis Ogola rest in peace. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.